Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to um, read a number from the user and calculate the sum of the individual digits in the number. So essentially it will show us how to break down a number into individual digits, how to check for some errors, uh, make sure the actual numbers and things like that, and um, then calculate the sum of the individual digits, individual numbers in an integer. So for example, if we read a five digit number from the user and if the number for example is one two three four five then the sum of the individual digits would be one plus two plus three plus four plus five which would be 15 so that's our goal so let's start um, we will first write the program without much error checking and then we will try to incorporate some error checking in that so let's start out by having some variables I'm going to say total equals zero that will be our total sum um, I may also want to count the number of digits, so I'll have a variable to do that. I may want one for each individual digit as I break it down. So let's do that. And let's read num equals, we know input, we've been using that all along. So let's read it. And notice I'm not converting it into an integer. I'm going to leave it as a string. Because to break down an, a string into individual numbers is easier than breaking down um, an integer. So we'll break it down and then make sure that they're all numbers before we add them. So please enter a number and I will sum the digits, which is what we're trying to do here. So there is my input. And then we'll add a comment to say sum the digits which is what we're going to do here so we use a for loop and say 4x in num so num is our string and for x x being each individual character in the string so it's still a string remember um, somewhere along the line we have to convert it to an integer which we will do right now so we will say digit equals int of x. So we'll convert it into an integer. Then I will increment my number of digits, digits equals digits plus one, that's my first digit, just to tell the user you had five digits in your number or six digits or whatever. Um, and then now we will say total equals total plus the first one, which is our digit, which has been converted to an integer. So the digit is the single first individual number that we converted to an integer, int of x equals digit. Digits is the number of digits that we have in our, we're just using a counter, that's what this digits is really, to tell us how many digits we have in that whole number, just to give the users information. So total equals total plus digit, and then it'll go back to the for loop and continue doing that, which is what we really wanted. So the for loop, when it's done, we want to come out and say print the number of digits and the total to the user. So then you just have a print statement that says print. You have, and then you say the number of digits, so many digits in your number and print your the sum is and of course we want to print um, the, the sum which is our total like that so let's take a look and see how this program works and what we can do to make it better so we'll save this file and run and it says please enter a number and I will sum the digits let's do one two two three it says you have four digits in your number and the sum is eight which is right let's try it one more time and enter one two a a so now we get this red error message because we have some letters in there and it was trying to convert those letters into integers so we should really have an error check in here to make sure that we catch those characters that are not numbers and let the user know. 
So let's go up to our list of variables here and have one more called flag. And I will set it to the word true. We will use that flag to flag if there are errors and set that flag to something else. So once we go into our loop here, we have a couple of things in um, Python that we can use. Uh, try is a syntax that's going to check for errors. So try, and we're going to put the statement that says digit equals int of x. Now, if there is a problem here converting it to an integer, if there is a character, it is going to give us an error message there, which is what you see here. If you notice in my shell on the left-hand side, you see the value error, which says I cannot take a character and convert it to a base 10, which is an integer. So you try this, and what we are telling Python is, if there is an exception, that's what this next syntax means, except, and we tell it the value error, just like we get it. If there is a value error, there's an ex exception like that, then we set our flag. What do we do? We want to do that here. We set our flag to error, and we break out of that loop. So we add a break statement. The break will get us out of that for loop. And when we get out of the for loop, we will be out here where the print statement is. And at that point in time, we will check our flag. If flag is equal to true, which means if nothing has happened, then we want to print these two statements. But if flag is not true, which means if there's an error, then what do we want to do? We want to say print and we want to say not a valid number. So that means the user entered something that was not right. Maybe there were characters in it, something like that. So going back to our for loop here, for x in number, try doing the statement. If there is an exception called value error, then we set a flag and we break out of the for loop. But if that's not the case, then we can have an else statement here for that try. And that else, if everything is good, then we come here and do what we were supposed to do originally, which is increment the number of digits and calculate the total. So now we should have a good program that, oh, we have an error message here, flag equals true. Ah, I forgot my colon. Okay, let's run it again. Check, no errors, run. So now if we try the same thing with some letters, we don't get any of our red text. It says very nicely, not a valid number, and exits gracefully, rather than give us messages that don't make any sense to us. So this is a lot better, even if we have errors, to let us know what's going on. So your assignment number seven is very similar. The only difference is you must have learned somewhere in your theory how to calculate uh, how to convert a binary to a decimal number. So once you get your individual bit, you will take it and you will convert it to an integer. And you will also have a check in here in this for loop to make sure that you only have zeros or ones. Again, if you have a zero, if you have any other number other than a zero or one, you want to exit with a flag equals error and let the user know that. Um, if not, you would go into this else statement here and you would use the wait and convert the bit times 2 to the power of whatever the weight is. And in your case, you are always going to get an 8-digit number, 8-bit number. So you don't have to worry about the number of digits here. Uh, you can ignore that in your assignment. And your weight will always start at 2 to the power of 7 for your leftmost bit. And it will keep decreasing and go all the way to 2 to the power of 0. So your weight will go from 7 to 0 starting from the leftmost bit as you will be reading um, for x in num, starting at the leftmost bit, x is your first bit, and that would be that bit times 2 to the power of 7, plus the next bit times 2 to the power of 6, and so on and so forth, until you have gotten your final decimal number, which will be the sum of all of those. And then you will just output your decimal number. Hope this helps.